How can you tell if a coffee plant is suffering from the effects of climate change? Just listen to it. That's the hope of researchers who are wiring up coffee plants with solar powered sensors in Tanzania. The idea is to have this technology attached to some plants that will be our like, like the voice of the plantations. At Utengule Coffee Farm, researchers are monitoring 20 Arabica coffee plants that are wired up across the plantation. Each plant is attached to electrodes that monitor it. Using Internet of Things technology developed by Cisco, these wired plants will provide researchers with continuous updates on their health and hydration. The project is being run by the Italian Espresso Research Centre Academia del Café Espresso, alongside PNAT, a think tank of designers and plant scientists. Camilla Pandolfi is the CEO of PNAT. This technology aims to record and de uh, decode uh, plants, plants' electrical activities uh, to understand whether we can uh, help with the management of uh, water or other agricultural practices. At the moment, we are uh, training our machine learning algorithms. Uh, and then uh, we will set in place an AI that will automatically train and, uh, and tell us when uh, we need to, to intervene on the plantation. Tanzania, a major coffee producer, is already feeling the effects of climate change with unpredictable rainfall and extended droughts. Hans Faisler is the owner of Utengule Coffee Farm. I see a particular acceleration in the last few years. I would say the last five to 10 years, I would say. I saw suddenly an acceleration of competition for the water. On one hand, competition for the water, but also with less water flow in the river, the double effect. The Wired Up Coffee Plans project in Tanzania is the first time sensor-based technology has been deployed in a coffee plantation. According to researchers at the Academia del Café Espresso, they hope information gathered from the wired up coffee plants and their surroundings could potentially benefit not only coffee growers around the world, but farmers of other crops who are trying to counter the effects of climate change.